Okay, to get started, you're going to take your wreath and your six pieces that have the long purple like this. Now some wreaths have openings, some might be big, some might be hardly at all. But if there is an opening, you want to put this on your left side because that's where we're going to cover up with the bow and everything. And it just makes for a nice place to stick the ends of these to hold them in nicely. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by gluing these long purple. We're gonna do three on the top and three coming out on the bottom. So you're gonna take your glue and just put a cup a little bit just around in there. And you're going to take it and stick it. If there's that hole, you're gonna stick it in that hole so it has somewhere to anchor. And if not, you'll just glue right on top. So you can see I put a little glue here and here, and I'm just gonna hold it down, because as we know with hot glue, you have to give it that pressure until it gets hard enough so that it will stay on. And we're gonna do this with all of our long pieces to create the longness of the purple going up and down. So I did my first, here goes my second. I'm gonna actually stick it in going the opposite way just so I can get a little bit more into the section that is open. If you don't have an open section, that is okay. You'll just glue it directly on top. And then I'm gonna play with this a little bit because I do want it to have a flow that it's going around. So when I glue this next part, it's to hold the shape of the purple going where I want it to go. And I want it to be, you know, going around like the wreath. So once I get both of these in, and you're just gonna hold it for a second, I'm gonna get the other ones glued in as well. So just continue to glue these on to where you have it the way you like it. All right, that's good. So here we go with the next one. This one is basically floral arranging on a wreath. It's gonna be a beautiful spring wreath with the purple um, and the gray. It's just very nice with the blooms. So I hope y'all enjoy this one. And remember, just hold that glue until it dries. There is a tip that I found at Dollar Tree in their crafting section. They have these little finger covers and you can get those to where you can just hold the glue like this. I think it comes maybe two or three in a pack, and that way you don't burn yourself. So that's a good little tip. All right, just continue again, gluing your purple. Oops, I need another glue stick. You'll notice in this kit there will, there will be several glue sticks because we're gluing all of these flowers on, so this is definitely one we're gonna be doing a lot of gluing. All right, I'm gonna stick this one right in there. And you can also see how I'm doing with the greenery. It's gonna be filling up that hole that was there and making that swag look coming up and down as well. And as you go, while you're getting those to dry, just pick out those glue strings. Um, it'll be easier if you do it as you go rather than wait till the end because you won't get to all of them. All right, so this is looking nice. Now these last two don't have the bushes. Some of yours may, some may not. Um, and I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing. I want this one to swing a little bit. So I'm gonna place it and see where I want it before I put the glue on. Get the glue in there and whoop, place it right where I want it. And I think I want this one to curve just a little more. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue right there and push that down. And remember to hold until the glue sets. And that way it's giving that curve that I was talking about that I wanted. While I'm holding it to dry, I'm gonna pick out these little strings. And there we go, look at that, so cute. My last one comes here on the bottom and I think I want it to come this way a little bit. So see where I want it first? Come in and add my glue. Stick it right back in where I had it. And hold it down. So now it may be getting a little big where those tops aren't showing on the screen, but that's okay, because right now 
I'm just wanting you to see this part here. So I have my long purple florals put on. You can see there's a little bit of an opening here because that's where I'm gonna put the beautiful bow. So I think that's what I'm gonna put next because I'm gonna build everything around this bow. So the bow does have on the back some wire and I'm actually gonna take it and wire it together. And once I have that wired on, I'm going to also take some glue and adhere it so it's just really well fastened in there. So this way, I'm gonna be adding all of my florals as fillers. Let me get some glue in here on this side because like I said, I want it to be nice and stable. You have this on your door, the doors open and close a lot and we don't want things to droop or sag. So the more glue you put in there, the stronger it will hold and withstand the spring season. So get that glue. And once you have that bow in there, these are wired so you can build them up. Let me just see if I need to add a little more. I feel like it's a little loose, so I'm gonna add a little more and push my bow down into that glue right there. Okay, and remember these are wire. The purple is not wire. It's just a nice, soft, flowy ribbon. So we're gonna have that hanging this way. Okay, so the next thing that I would like to do is to start filling the holes. So you wanna go with your biggest to smallest. So my next biggest are these three flowers I have here. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to take the biggest flower and I'm going to put it right here between the little hanging part of my bow. Um, if you don't have the opening, you can pull this little stem off and just put glue around the base of the flower, which I'm going to do both. Um, either way, so I'm going to stick this flower in and there we go. Nice, hold it nice and tight. Hold it there till it dries. Beautiful, I love how the greeneries are peeking out, so pretty. Then I'm gonna take these two that I have, and you can just use one if you want. Um, there's just options with this wreath. You can stop or keep going, whatever you wanna do. I think I'm gonna add mine like this. So once I find where I want them, I just pull them out, and I am gonna pop this one off and I'm just gonna put glue around this base. And I'm just gonna stick it right in there where I want it and hold it till it dries. So taking that stick off allowed me to get it deeper in there, which I think is very pretty. Okay, this one, let me see. I think with this one, I'm also going to pop that off. Again, it's your choice. You can use it in there as a guide, or you can pop it off if you want it tighter down to the wreath. So I'm gonna just do mine a little tighter and just hold it until that glue dries. There we go, isn't that looking beautiful? So the next thing I want to do is take the white flowers. You do not have to use all of these, or you can. Again, it's your choice. Um, I see, see how this one's curving this way? So I think I wanna use this one on the bottom. And I'm just gonna feed it like it's coming out to match these little purples and go around. So I'm gonna add glue right down here to the stick. And then I'm going to stick it in to where it's just coming out. Cause I want to elongate my florals. Um, there's several of these, so feel free to just go around and see where you want them and add them in. I am on this one going to take the stem off because I want it to be a little shorter. Put my glue on and I'm just gonna stick it right in there so it comes out just like that. And remember, this is your choice. You can do flowers around the whole thing. Um, I'm going for the look of it built up on one side and this nice brown, dark brown on the other side. To me, it just looks very springy and very beautiful. Um, I do, I think, want this one to stick out a little bit, so I'm gonna leave the stick on. Go ahead and add my glue, and guide it in right there. 
So it's coming out with that same flow. And remember, as you go, just pull those little glue strings away so you don't have to deal with it later. All right, and you'll just continue with all of these. Perfect. And here's my last one. I did three on the top, so I wanna do three on the bottom, and I think it's gonna look good right there. What do you think? Wow, this is looking so pretty. I hope y'all enjoy this wreath. I think it's just a beautiful addition for, for the springtime. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna bring in my little purple flowers, and I also have all of the green filler. This is to hide any gaps that may have happened. So I'm gonna do my purple flowers first, or you can just do as you wish. I might just go alternating back and forth. I do feel like it needs a little bit of greenery here and maybe here, so I think I'm gonna add those first. It's always good to do your big flowers and come in with your small to fill any holes, um, and greenery is always a good filler. So I'm just gonna find the little spot that I want this greenery to come out of and hold it in until it sticks. All right, then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And like I said, you may not use all of this, all of the florals. You may like it just a little less. Um, sometimes less is more, sometimes more is more. It's whatever your creation is gonna be. I just wanted to put enough in there for the people that like more to be more. Okay, so now on the top, you can see I've got some greenery. I need a little bit on the bottom before I start with my purple flowers. So I'm gonna get my glue and we're gonna stick it in kind of like I did at the top. So it looks like it's just coming out of all of that beautiful stuff around the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just at least do these four greeneries on each side of the bow. Okay, so now it's starting to look just so nice and so full. So I do wanna add my beautiful purple florals just to give it that extra little oomph. And there's two that are a little bigger. And so I wanna place those first. And remember, I keep saying it, but you don't have to use them all. But I think that is beautiful, having one on the top and one on the bottom of these bigger. And every once in a while, you'll just want to pull your little ribbon ties down um, just so you can build around them. But I'm gonna put those right there, I think. I think that's beautiful. It's always good when you're working with flowers to sometimes take a break stand up and back away from it, even hang it up and look at it, because that way you can see where the holes are that you want to fill. So that is a good tip. I think after I get these two in, I'm going to back up and look at it for a moment and just see where I want my fillers. And remember, it's always good to place before you glue, stand back, look at it, and if it's where you want it, go for it. So I'm gonna look at it for a moment and adjust kind of what needs to be adjusted so I can see. I kind of see I want a little something here. It looks like a little, maybe that flower, I just need to glue that flower down a little bit. There we go, that's all it needed was the flower. So I'm gonna add a little glue. So remember, always stand back and give it a look. Gorgeous, okay. Now I'm just going to add these little flowers anywhere I see fit. Then I'm gonna come in with the rest of my greenery and fill in the holes. Isn't this gorgeous? And as you go, you can just readjust your bow, pull out little pieces. Now it's time to just see if there's anywhere that we want greenery. So I think that I'm gonna put, and, and I took this off because I just wanted this little piece and I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this greenery coming right out of here. Just to add a little greenery next to that dark brown is very pretty. And this is again where you will stand up, step back, take a look at it, see what needs to be filled and fill it in. 
think I just want another greenery, this little smaller one coming right out of the top. And you can see I only have it coming to half, halfway point, this will stay dark, and it's just lovely. Lovely. My last little green piece, I think, maybe should I put it there? I think I might put it there. Looks nice. To give the ribbons just an extra little oomph, because it's wire, you can take it and roll it around your finger in a downward motion. And then when you pull your finger out, it's gonna hold that beautiful curl. So same thing, you take your finger, might do it this way, wrap it around, and then give it that pull. And there you go. Kind of have this running through. And there is your beautiful wreath. Enjoy.